about an exercise called the Bulgarian split squat. We're going to show multiple variations of this. All of them come off of the same format of the exercise though. As you might guess, split squat, we're working with split weight between our feet. I want to think about having all of my weight on my front foot with a little bit of pressure or weight through my back foot that I have spiked, which is kind of on my toes or the ball of my foot, which is there more for balance. Right now, when I'm not using any other equipment with my foot, I'm thinking just kind of starting with my feet right next to one another and then reaching that foot just backwards. Then as I do my squat, I'm gonna think like I do with most of my squats, hips back, torso forward as far as I can, keeping as much weight on this leg as I can, minimum weight here. So if I have really nice alignment and everything with this, I should theoretically be able to lift that back toe and nothing changes with my body position. This is gonna be the easiest version of this exercise not using any weight in my hands, not using anything underneath this back foot. Let's change that up a little bit though. To make this a little bit harder, I can use a step or a block underneath my back foot. Right now I'm gonna use something that's really stable and fairly low to make it a little bit harder. I'm gonna have my toe spiked on the back of that. And then same thing, most of my weight being on this front leg, I'm gonna let both knees bend, pushing mostly through this back leg going down as far as is comfortable. Ultimately perfect alignment, ideal alignment, is if the heel of my front foot lines up with the knee of my back leg. So this is exactly where I wanna end up. Torso staying forward, and then I press through the ground to press myself back up. You can take this as deep as you need to, knowing that you have the option to go to a full knee as long as you're controlling it and not bringing it into the to make it harder, I can get this foot up on higher and higher surfaces. So I might use a higher stack of steps in order to get to that position. Let's show you another variation that makes this even harder from the stability standpoint. Now this is my favorite version, but definitely one of the harder versions when it comes to stability. I want to start with my toe in the center of that bosu ball, weight still forward on that front leg, and then I just do my Bulgarian split squat here. I'm really thinking, letting my hips come back, torso leaning forward a bit as I'm doing this, still most of my weight through the front leg, seeing if I can minimize what's happening back here. To show you what this looks like from the front, I really wanna make sure my knees are tracking over my toe as I'm coming into that squat, not letting it come in and collapse into my arch as I'm doing that squat. Now, that's how we mix up stability factor. We can also change up what we do as far as weights with all of this. Now, when it comes to the resistance that we're using, you of course can start with absolutely no resistance. In that split squat position, I can use two dumbbells, two kettlebells, even a barbell if I want to, but I prefer having two separate things. That's just my preference. I'm gonna keep them kind of down by my side. And as I'm doing that squat, I'm just letting them track straight downwards and coming back up. I also have the option of using just one weight. So what I might do here is have one leg back into that split squat. And then different hands are gonna cause different things to happen. If I have it in the same side as the leg is back, I can come down it's gonna really make me feel like I wanna lean into that leg, so it's gonna be a lot harder. Whereas if I'm better balanced, opposite arm and leg, that's gonna feel a little bit easier through all of this. I can just do a traditional split squat position, or I can come down into that split squat, let my torso come forward a little more, throw in a row, and then come back up. So we get a little bit of upper body, and a little bit more of a core challenge when we do that sort of exercise. Those are a couple of options of what we can do as far as resistance for this.